Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others strive and succeed in their own journeys. In today's video, we are diving into a topic that's pivotal to your success, whether you're coding, creating, or conquering your personal goals, and that is motivation. Specifically, we're going to discuss why motivation, as great as it feels, is actually overrated and why changing your mindset can significantly enhance your ability to achieve your goals. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Aldo, isn't motivation supposed to be the fuel that guides us towards our dreams? Well, yes and no. You see, motivation is a fantastic kickstarter. It's an emotional high that gets us off our couch and into action. But relying solely on motivation is like trying to sail a ship with no wind. You'll get nowhere once the initial breeze dies down. So stick around as we explore the deeper dynamics of motivation, discuss its limitations, and most importantly, how we can harness the power of discipline to keep sailing forward even when the motivational winds die down. Without further ado, let's get into it. To truly understand motivation and its impact on our lives, it's crucial to differentiate between the two main types, intrinsic or internal motivation, and extrinsic, also known as external motivation. Let's start with intrinsic first. This type of motivation is that deep-seated drive that tells you to engage in tasks for the pleasure and satisfaction of doing so rather than some external reward. An example of this would be you coding a personal project late into the night, not because of a deadline or a paycheck awaiting you, but because the challenge thrills you and seeing your idea come to life fills you with joy. Now, on the other hand, extrinsic motivation is driven by the allure of an external reward, whether that's financial gain, recognition, or even accolades. This motivation propels us to achieve for the sake of rewards and not for the activity itself. Imagine tackling a project to earn a bonus or to gain praise from your supervisor. Here, the work might not excite you, but the promise of external rewards pushes you to complete it. Now that we have a solid understanding of the two main types of motivation, Let's dive into why relying solely on motivation is a terrible idea. But before that, I really wanna emphasize the word solely. It's crucial to understand that motivation is a necessary spark, but it shouldn't be the only fuel we use for our journey towards success. With that out of the way, let's get into the reasons. Reason number one, motivation is not a constant state. It varies significantly, swayed by factors such as our emotions, our physical conditions, and the environment around us. Its fluctuating nature means that it's unreliable as a sole driver for action, leading to periods of high productivity followed by lengthy stints of inactivity, also known as the yo-yo effect. Reason number two, motivation can be a distraction. Yes, you heard that right. Often in the quest to feel motivated, we get caught up consuming all this motivational content without actually putting in the work needed towards our goals. This cycle can lead to procrastination as we spend more time seeking inspiration than engaging in the work itself. I can't begin to tell you how many times this has happened to me. Reason number three, motivation is not suitable for long-term goals. It serves as the initial push but lacks the substance required for the long haul. Achieving significant milestones demands more than just fleeting enthusiasm. It requires the steadfast qualities of discipline and perseverance especially when you're trying to push through less motivating periods. Again, our intention with this video is not to bash motivation or tell you not to seek it out. In fact, intrinsic motivation is incredibly valuable. It's that inner drive that aligns with our deepest interests and passions. Instead, our goal is to highlight that while motivation is the spark to the beginning of your journey, Discipline ensures you reach your destination. Discipline is that sturdy bridge that connects the excitement of starting with the satisfaction of completing. It's what keeps you going when motivation fades. Discipline is all about routine, commitment, and the power of habit. It doesn't fluctuate with your mood or the weather. It remains constant, providing a reliable foundation for you to build lasting success. Now, building discipline is a journey in itself one that requires patience, strategy, and a commitment to growth. But you know I got your back, so here are some actionable tips that you can take to develop the discipline needed to achieve any goal you have in mind. Tip number one, set micro goals. Choose one or two small tasks that you can tackle every day, like waking up at the same time or getting in a short morning workout. 
These acts of discipline strengthen your willpower and set the tone for the day. Not only that, but it helps work out that self-accountability muscle, which is vital. Tip number two, practice saying no. Discipline often requires us to turn down instant gratification in favor of long-term benefits. Practice saying no to small temptations daily. This can be as simple as refusing an extra hour of TV to make sure you get enough sleep. Tip number three, reward yourself. Set rewards for being disciplined and not just for achieving your goals. For example, if you followed your weekly scheduled plan this week to a T, treat yourself. This rewires your mind into caring more about the process and the outcome itself, which in turn will make you more disciplined. And that wraps up this video on why motivation, while valuable, can also be overrated and the pivotal role that discipline plays in achieving our goals. Remember, the path to realizing our dreams isn't paved in fleeting moments of inspiration alone. It's the consistent disciplined actions that we take day in and day out that help us carve our path to success. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. As always, feel free to share any thoughts, comments, or questions down below. Stay inspired, but most importantly, stay disciplined, and I'll catch you in the next one.